Good afternoon. Welcome in. I'm Sheila from Sweeties Creations and Decor and you're going to be watching me on the Mold a Wood Marathon today. So we will be shared into that group. I'm going to go ahead and pull you up on my computer so that we are all ready to go. There we go. I do have chat bots, so you put exclamation mark commands and you will see all of my commands that I have on my chat bot. Come on in and say hello. Welcome. Good to see everybody today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, Mildred, good to see you. Hey, Adoria Creations, my friend Nicole, good to see you today. Hey, Carolyn, welcome, welcome. Hey, Beth. Thank you, Beth. Appreciate you sharing me. So, Beth is, um, yes, Beth is, y'all, my brain, Katie's sister. <laughs> I'm trying to remember to say everything today. Beth is Katie's sister, and um, Beth does is an artist herself. So, and I know that she does some prints. Um, I am doing one of Reva Rose Creation prints today, and I just love this with the orange truck. My husband loves trucks, so I always do a lot of fall things with trucks because he likes them. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put that on because you're going to have to help me with a few colors here and there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. So I am going to use the Force Fill by Paint Pixie and go ahead and get that on. Good to see you. Hey, Lori. Hey, Carolyn. Good afternoon. Welcome on in. So have y'all watched so far? Hasn't it been a great day? I think I've watched everybody. I did have to jump off of Kimberly's a little early so that I could go ahead and make sure I was ready. I already had everything ready. I'm kind of one of these people. I can do spur of the moment, but I like to kind of plan because I change my mind too much. <laughs> I change my mind quite a bit. So I know that y'all have seen a lot of people showing you how to get the product out. I have already done all of mine. I pulled some out this morning that I let cure last night. And um, so I won't show you that since you've seen it several times today. If you haven't seen it, go back and replay. You're simply, I have had to learn with the mold of wood. And when Katie came out with this product, and thank you, Katie, Creative Crafting by Katie and Craft Around the Clock for having us today. They are the co-host and I want to thank both of them for having us. And Katie was on first this morning and then Miss Tracy was after her. So if you miss them, go back and watch. Katie makes it look so easy. And if you don't know, on Mondays, she has Mold of Wood Mondays and she shows you how to do everything, how to pull it out of the molds. Um, you have to be patient, y'all, with this product. It's a great product. But it's you don't want to do it and pull it out right then. You want to give it plenty of time. Now, I'm going to tell you, most of mine here in the South dry within the like the 12 hours. The only thing that may not is if something is bigger, a bigger piece like my sunflower. I did a sun, with a sunflower. Um, I did the big one to this. This is just a half of one. I did the big one as well. I had to let that cure a little bit longer because it was a little thicker. So just know that you're, you know, you want to make sure that it is good and dry before you're going to pull it out. You're going to pull it out very easily. It's not a hard product at all. So I'm going to tell you a couple of things. I know some of the other people have told you. When you get your mold of wood, it's going to be in a container like this, and Katie also has it in a plastic bag. Now, I stick mine back in the plastic bag to give it an extra thing. If you don't get it back in the small bag, put it in a big bag, just to give it a little extra. You want to make sure that you push the air all out of your bag before you put it back in. Now, y'all, this is all I have left <laughs> because this is my third one, and I love the product, and I'm trying to use it. 
Uh, Miss Katie, your sister put me in. So I, I'm not in crap around the clock. Let me see if I can share myself in there. Hold on. There we are. Okay. I just posted myself in craft around the clock, so hopefully that'll go on through. Yeah, okay. Now see if you see me in craft around the clock. Hey, Alexandria. Hey, Crafty Queens. Hey, Miss Liz. Can y'all see me in craft around the clock now? I just shared myself, so I should be in there. Okay. So, on the mold of wood, you have this little... And you can screenshot that, and you can go straight to the um, instructional video that will help you learn more about motor wood. So you want to keep it sealed in your container. You want to press it firmly in the silicone molds. They do the best. It says 12 to 24 hours. Now, some things, if you haven't paint, if you haven't done them as thick they will be a little thinner they may be dry in 12 hours okay <laughs> that's okay katie <laughs> yes Bess already shared me she's she's up to date <laughs> it's okay all right and so once you it's cured you can remove it and mold and paint and then use your right adhesive that you're adhering to so i like to use either my tight bond and i can use a little bit of hot glue to hold it right then but i kind of love the tight bond on there that's just my thing because it's a wood glue the um the other will work too so let me get a little bit more of the force field on here thank you kathleen you're always so sweet i appreciate you and i got a little bit of spot on there but it's not going to hurt it it's going to dry and it'll dry clear so Sometimes that happens. We're not going to worry about that. So this, I'll show y'all the print when we get it on here. Yeah, you may have a little spot. We're going to seal it anyway, so it'll do fine. So here's our print. This is Reba Rose Creations. Isn't that a beautiful print? So what we're going to do is we're going to put these in the corners. So these are going to go in each corner, and this is... This one here, and y'all, I don't worry about cleaning mine out. Katie doesn't either, but if it, if I feel like it's got a little something in there and I'm going to use it again, I just take a wipe, a, just a wipe, uh, and I just wipe it out. And you also can kind of pull it out if it's dry, and they are fine. But I use this one right here, and that came from Amazon. And then the blue ones that I have here, that's these. These also came from Amazon. I won't say these little individual ones were my favorite, but it's okay. It does okay. Um, because it's intricate, sometimes you have to be, you have to make sure you've molded it in well, and sometimes you do have to, what I call weeding, you have to cut the little edge, you might have, have a little extra, and that's okay if it has one of those, you just, you just trim it off. And these are going to stay flexible. You don't have to worry about it. They're going to stay flexible. So I love the product. Love the product. I'm going to tell y'all, I have a, uh, I've used clay. Clay is okay. I'm not knocking the clay, but, and I have a really good clay, but it cracks on me. And when I try to do my bottles and my cans and my things like that, it cracks. So I love this product. Katie has done a great job with that. And I'll show y'all some other things that I've already, I've got a whole box full <laughs> of things I've used. So we're going to put these in the corner, and I think I'm going to use the blue ones. Did I drop one off right there somewhere? I'll find it. It might be under my picture. I know I had it. There it is. I see it. I was like, I know it's there. Right here it is. Okay. I want to put these on the side. I'm going to have these in either up four corners. So I want to put those blue ones there. And then I may put the leaves, these three leaves, at the bottom. Because I don't think you can have too much of the mold of wood. I think it's beautiful. So these are thicker. And these are thicker because I used this candy mold that came from Joann's. I got this yesterday. The leaves were a little bit big, but see how flexible they are? So I did these yesterday and was able to pop them out today. 
with no problem. Now sometimes they take longer when they're thicker, but these did great. This mold pushed right out. So I loved this mold. So those were easy to use. I'll put those over there out of the way. Okay, this is my thing. I thought about painting the corners in in a gold, in a honeycomb and a little bit of brown and make it kind of gold to kind of mix match some of our gold down in here. You could do them orange as well. I do have some orange colors. These four are going to go in the corners. So I was thinking that I would do the gold color. What do y'all think? Give me a thumbs up. I mean, a, give me a heart if y'all think that the goldish brown would look good on these in the corners. It doesn't have to be all matchy. You can do different. Yes, Karen, the container is completely full. You're gonna, it's gonna come in your bag, just like this, and the bag is full. I had a couple of crumbles left from my other one, and I like to, sometimes I take the crumbles and make, I just made me some little pumpkins out of that. But this was full, and this has lasted me a long time. I've had this one for um, several months. And this is my third one. I got one for um, the event. So what do y'all think? Y'all like that idea? Let's paint them up and let's see what they look like. And then we'll think about if we want to do these. So I'm going to take the blue ones off. We're going to take these off and paint them up. And see how thin these are? That's why they dry pretty quick. It's a thinner mold. So let's go ahead while I'm thinking about it. Let's put our little star on our barn right here. See, I see the little star sitting here. I'll go ahead and put it on my barn. Let me just take a... Metal does not do well with just hot glue, so we're going to have to put a little bit of the wood glue in the middle and then a little bit of the hot glue to hold it. <laughs> You're so crazy. <laughs> my husband's a mess. A mess, a mess. He is a mess. You can close the door, hon, if you're going to watch television, please. Okay, and we're going to put our star right up here. I love that little rusty star. I love that little rusty star. You are going to need a little hot glue. If you put a little hot glue, you're going to have to make sure um, because it will show a little bit, but your other glue will not. Let's go ahead and put a little star on my barn. Okay, let's try the colors here. Okay, a couple of other things I want to tell you is the time it takes to cure depends on your mold. Um, you don't prep it. You don't need anything in your mold. Just put your product straight in there. Don't use cornstarch. Don't use anything. You do not need anything. You're going to have some residue on your hands. It washes right off. You can crumble it right off like this in your garbage can. You can take a wet wipe, wipe your fingers, then wash your fingers. It's not going to leave a stain. It's just, it's just a little sticky. I love it because I played with mud pies growing up, so it doesn't bother me at all. And you can wipe your hands as you're working with it so that you don't get so much sticky in there as you're doing it. You don't have to wash your molds. And it's it's kind of the tub, the, having the enough in the tub depends on what you're doing. Uh, mine lasts pretty well. It's, blend, it's bendable, flexible. Um, it's still after painting, it's still flexible. That's one good thing I really, really love. Um, it has a six month or more shelf life. So if you keep it covered up and you keep it in your bag, get that get that air out and keep it molded. You wanna mold it in your bag. That's the important thing is molding it. Um, you know, pre pressing it out and uh, giving it some kneading. Because I found out, I had one I was asking Katie about it. She said, you gotta knead it, you gotta knead it. It needs kneading. Um, and you can use finger protectors, gloves, or anything else you want to keep the residue off your hands. If, if residue bothers you, you may want to use some gloves. I'd use like some good gloves that fit well, um, some disposable gloves, and they'll work fine. So let's put a little color on here, and um, I can show you some more things that I've done after we get to that point. Okay, I'm just going to put that over there on the side. We'll move these over. All right, let's try some color. So let's try some, let's try a little bit of the honeycomb. This is Paint Pixie. 
I love this paint. It, it's pretty much a one coat. It goes on really well. And then a little bit of chocolate souffle. And all of them are named like desserts. So they make you hungry when you're <laughs> crafting. <laughs> my husband just got home from work, so he closed my door. Because he's going to be watching football. Y'all know he can't stand working on Saturdays when football season comes. But he doesn't have to work that often. Okay, I'm just going to put a little brown in there and get us a good color. And I may have to put some more more of the honeycomb because I don't want it like a deep brown or anything. I want it to have just a touch in there. See, I like to mix my paint, so I just kind of pour them out till I get what I want. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. And let's see how that looks. Let's see if that kind of is the color that we want. Let me get a brush here. I'm just going to paint that on there. And I think it's going to have to be a little bit more gold. I'm not not feeling that. That's a little brown from me. So I'm going to put a little bit more. And I'm just going to mix just a little bit of that color in there. Oh, I like that better. Yes, 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 yes. I like that better. Okay, let's do that. You can paint it completely. You can dry brush it. Either one is fine. Let's see how this looks. You kind of have to pounce it in some of your little places on some of your molds. So just take your brush and kind of pounce it in. It's not going to hurt it at all to get it a full coverage. Uh, the blue ones, I just dry brushed those. And I just mixed a couple colors for those. That's kind of a good color. Y'all like that color? It's kind of pretty. It's kind of a goldish. And I think that looks very fallish. So I think I'm going to like that. Let me paint my edges up. It's going to dry pretty quick. And I do use chalk paint because I know chalk paint dries quickly. So that is my favorite to use. You can use acrylic paints, anything that you want. I just love the um, chalk paint because it does better for me. Hey from Minnesota, Miss Donna. Hey Mary T. Hey Agatha. Yes, if you have questions, you can ask in the comments. And if I don't see them, Katie or one of her friends can answer or one of the creators that's familiar with the product will answer for you. Or Beth, her sister, will answer it for you. So we're going to have to have another marathon and use some of Beth's prints. I know she does some prints. I see Katie using them and talking about them. That would be fun. Thank you again, Katie, for inviting me today. I appreciate that very much. I do love the product. It's something that I've enjoyed using because I feel like I can do my molds the day before, have them out, and then I can bend them on my product. That was my problem is the clay would not allow me to bend around a bottle. And I do a lot of jars and bottles and cans. And I needed a product that was going to be able to be bendable. So I loved when she came out with this. This is going to be a good color, y'all. This is going to be a pretty color on there. Let's get these painted. I've got most everything else painted, I believe. And I was going to put this little wood truck that I have on the frame um, I did another picture with one of the wood trucks like that. I wasn't liking it. It kind of hid my print, and I didn't like that as much. So I'm going to do it to the side, and they can go together when you put your print somewhere. It'll be something to go together. Now, I have one little piece right here that's one of the little ookies that I told you all about that you have to kind of weed. I just noticed it. I'm going to take a little pair of scissors. And it's going to cut right out. That's all you do with it. You cut it with scissors. Those are the little dollar store scissors. Well, that's, that's all you have right there. And you can just weed that out. I call it weeding. It may have another name. That's the way that I learned was weeding years ago. So that's what I call it when you're kind of cutting something out. But that may not be the proper term. But that's what I mean when I'm talking about it. Because sometimes you won't notice until you're starting to paint them or something. You go, oh, what is that? That's a little extra something. Let's just cut it off. Hey. 
Hey, is it Kayla or Kalia? Welcome. If you're new to my page, put exclamation mark or point, N-E-W, one word, and that is my chat bot, and that will welcome you. My chat bot was not acting right when I tried to use it earlier, so if not, I still will come back and welcome you if it does not, but my chat bot is exclamation mark commands. I've got to go back in there and see if there's something going on with it. But, you know, it's a, every time we have an update, there's something that, <laughs> that I have to fix. So we're hoping that Mr. Face is nice, nice today to everybody. Let's see if it works for you, Agatha. It might. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, beautiful. I've got to go back and see the end of your angel because I had to jump off. Make sure I had everything in here ready. And hopefully y'all can see the see me on the lights okay. This side of um, my light bulb finally went out after like almost, well, almost four years it lasted. And uh, so we have some new ones. We have an order from um, Amazon coming. And so they, that'll be here probably by tomorrow. Okay, y'all, let me dry these up a little bit. I am liking the color. That's going to be pretty. And I always put some dark wax on it, too, if I want to do that. So don't worry if they're not perfect, y'all. Sometimes molds don't come out perfect. You can't be, can't worry about it being perfect because it's not always perfect. It's just not. And that's okay. I am perfectly imperfect, so I'm okay with it. Hey, Samantha. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Beth. Thank you, Beth, for following me. I've got to go check out your page as well, Sweet Pea, because I love some different different things and different prints. And Decoupage is one of my favorite, and I wasn't going to do Decoupage today. I had a whole other thing that I was going to do, and then I said, you know what? I just I loved making some of these little things, so y'all will see. I made some little pumpkins with some of my leftover. Are these not super cute? And they look just like a pumpkin wood with a little mushed up. I love them. I'll be using some of those with a truck. And I've got these two I may put on my print. <laughs> and I flatten the back of them. Are they not too cute? I made all those with the mold of wood. I just had so much fun making them. Okay, let's dry this just a little bit and we'll turn this paper over. I like this color. Yeah, a little honeycomb and a little touch of the chocolate souffle. I am an affiliate for Josie for Paint Pixie. I do a segment for her and um, I love the product. I love the paint. The paint goes on really well. Um, usually just one coat. Uh, coats well, dries well. I, I really like the paint. These won't take that long to dry, but I want to get them good and dry. Oh, good, Beth. You're going to have some new things on Etsy? Awesome. I've seen Katie use some of your items. So I was uh, familiar with you and knew that you were her sister. Y'all got some talent in your family for sure. And then I saw Katie doing her fireplace. Oh my goodness. My fireplace is old. It's from the 60s. But ours is the wood, is the brick with the red in it and the brown in it and the white in it. And we really like it. The outside of our house is like that. And a lot of our neighbors have painted the brick. I love the old red brick. Um, my house I grew up in was like that, and so I just love it. And I think that's awesome that she lives in a family home. So do I. I live in my aunt and uncle's home that I purchased. And um, so I already was familiar with the neighborhood, and some of the, most of the neighbors have died out that were friends of theirs. They they would have been um, a lot older now. So most of them have passed away. So we've got a whole new neighborhood, but everybody is so, so sweet. We have a really good watch each other, watch for things going on in the neighborhood, so it works out really, really well. Okay, y'all, so we're going to put these in the corner, and I'm going to use a little bit of my Titan, just a touch 
of the hot glue on the edges just to hold it right now. Mostly I love the tight bond with it. That's my favorite. But I just use my finger and spread it out. But I put a little touch of the hot glue next to it just to give it a hold right now so that we can get it to stick. And I'm just going to use a little bit of the Sure Bonder glue which also works with wood. So this ought to do fine. We'll just put it right there. And I'm going to press these up in the corners. And I love that I can bend it and mold it and push it down to get it to stick. That's going to work great. So hold it down for a minute. And one good thing is you can always go back, if it doesn't have quite enough glue, go back and add a little bit more. Not going to hurt to pull it. Just be gentle with it. So I, I even like the brown color on here. And a lot of times I'll just dry brush something instead of painting it completely. I love the brown on here. And I like the way it looks. It's, it's, um, it's a texture. And I kind of like the texture too. So I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue where I don't have my other glue. I'm just going to press that back in this corner. And I'm going to show you a little bit. All you're going to be doing is pressing it down up in your corner and pressing it all the way around just like that. And sometimes you have to hold it a minute to get it to stick to what you're putting it on. I loved everybody's project today. Everybody has done beautiful. I think the gold is going to look good, y'all. Isn't that looking good? I think so. I think it's good. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let's put some on here. Yes, if you've never seen me before, I'm Sheila. Hey, Sherry from Sherry's Creative Designs. Good to see you today. Hey, sweetie. A lot of friends you see on here are Craft Round the Clock host. And, um, hey, Miss Della, thank you for sprinkling. You're always so sweet to sprinkle, and I appreciate you very, very much. Hey, Mary, there's my friend Mary from Ocean Breeze and Me, and you're welcome to come in on your page name on my page. I am okay with that, okay? That way people can know you and go follow you. And if you see the word follow next to my friends, that means that you're not following them. And you can go and give them a follow by just tapping on the blue wording. Hey, Kelly. Thank you. Yeah, I love the color. This came out really cool. And sometimes you got to go back and press. Because it's like any other product, you've got to press it down to get it to stick. And sometimes that wood glue takes a little bit longer. That's why I'm adding a little bit of the um, hot glue with my tight bond. So I'm using both. And then I'm putting just a little bit of hot glue around on the edge where it does not have the other glue. Just a little bit here and, there, <coughs> here and there. Excuse me. Sometimes I get to talking so much my voice is just... And there's something blooming. And somebody said it was a uh, ragweed. And every year when the ragweed comes, we cough and carry on. I'm going to press that one down. It looks good. Hey, Cheryl M., how are you today? Good to see you, sweet friend. And this is going to dry clear, so it's going to dry fine. And that's looking good already. I love that. I love doing the picture frames. Um, I am going to do some bottles and some jars, but I love doing the picture frames. And I think the blue is going to look good with it. I'm liking the blue. I'm going to kind of just eye it and put it down. We're not going to worry. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Just kind of eye it. Look at it. See what it looks like. We'll put a little bit more of our glue on here. And how many of you, if you've enjoyed the marathon today, give me a heart and let me know. 
that you've enjoyed it. Have you learned something new? Have you had fun with all the things that everybody's doing? Everybody's done something different. I just love it. It makes it look so much better, doesn't it, Margaret? It gives it another little touch. It gives it a special touch. I love working with the molds, but like I said, I, I don't, I'm not knocking the clay. It just doesn't work as well for me. And I love this product. So I've been wanting to use it more. And I'm just going to kind of eye it, y'all. It may not be perfect. We're okay with it. We're going to be okay wherever we put it here. I've learned not to be a perfectionist. When I first started creating, I was such a perfectionist. Oh, that didn't come out right. I don't like the way that looked and everything. I had to learn to say, you know what? It's art. We're artists. So, you know what? No artist is perfect. So, if you see an imperfection, just overlook it. Something may not be even. Something may not be the right color. You just never know. One time I did a project and I didn't realize I used a different paint. And after I got through, I thought, that just looks strange. I used a completely different color paint. Nobody said a word. <laughs> hey, Teresa Forrest, thank you for sprinkling. You're so sweet. If you have not joined my page, you're not a friend and family on my page, come on over and become a friend and family. I am on quite a bit. I like to, and I'm also Craft Around the Clock host, and we're also streaming there. So you'll see me in there. Okay, Y'all give me just a sec on that. Okay, now I'm going to ask, I'm going to put a bow at the top. Let me let those stick just a minute. Okay, let me see what y'all think. I'm thinking my little, and I didn't even paint the back of these. It's not going to show. I'm thinking these little pumpkins are going to be cute in that truck. It may be more than you would want to see, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to try it. Aren't these cute? These are just some of the modal wood that I just took and just squished it and made me a little pumpkin. And while it was wet, I stuck a little stem in there. And I just thought they came out cute. And then I flattened the back, y'all. Actually, they were already dry when I thought about flattening the back. And it flattened right in for me to be able to use like this. So I think those are cute. That's just going to make that truck stand out just a little bit cute. Okay. So we got glue. Glue yuckies everywhere. We'll blow those off. So that's what we've got so far. I like the gold. I do too. So, so let's see what you think about these. These are, they're thicker. But I don't know that we need them. But let's see if y'all want them on here. I've even got a little sunflower. We might use that little sunflower. That might be cute. I'd have to paint it. So here's the little leaves. Let me move them kind of in the middle where you can see. Do y'all think we need the leaves? Give me a heart if y'all think we need the leaves. We may not need them. I might use those on another project. Another project to do this week with some pumpkins or something. Brenda, did I say hey to you? Miss Totally Together Crafting by Brenda. Y'all go and watch my friend Brenda and give her uh, a follow. She is going to be back soon. She had to redo her page. So y'all go and watch her videos and give her a like. Oh, y'all like the leaves on there, Betty? Oh, I would paint them, Betty. I would paint them. Yes, I can paint them up. You like them? Uh, around around my picture, they're a little bit big. Ah, not for me, but. It would be cute if you want to do that. I think if I had some smaller leaves, it might look good. I am going to put some wax on here, so it's going to cover the white. I am going to put some dark wax on there. So, yeah, that's cute like it is. Okay, well, we'll do that. Let me put a little wax on there. Let's see how that looks. Let me grab my wax, and I'm going to put that around. I did take the sander, and I did sand around this frame just a little bit because I like it kind of looking a little bit more distressed so I did that this came from a hob blob it had the hook this hook was actually over here 
All you do is just take the screws out, replace it where you need it. That's all you have to do on those. Let me get a little bit of the wax and we'll put a little bit around the edges. We're just going to kind of wax that in. And I am using Best Dang Wax by Dixie Belle. You could use the bare wax on here. And that's going to kind of fill in your little white in here. And you can put a little bit on your frame too in some of those places. But I'm just kind of filling that in just a little bit on the edges and that's going to blend that in a little bit. You could put paint if you wanted to get some paints and make your paints mix. You could do those as well and that helps fill it in. You can definitely paint up to it. That little piece was already in this frame so I just used it. I am going to have to push that down just a little bit more again but I'm, we'll do that later. That did help, definitely help. And you can put it on your frame. There was a couple of places on this frame. I want to say this might have been marked down more than, um, it might have been a little bit marked down because it did have a couple of places on it. Because they had a couple of frames. They had kind of marked down a clearance. They only had a few left and I think this may have been one of them. So I kind of just put some wax on it to kind of cover some of those spots. Probably where people have been looking at it or something. It's perfectly fine though. I've, I've been fine with it. You love the pumpkins? I do too. I wish I had some more pumpkins done, but I've got those. I wanted to get that mold with the pumpkins, but I wasn't sure which size it was. I kind of get confused on the sizes sometimes, but that would be cute as well at the bottom. So y'all like it like that without the leaves? We can always add them later. Yeah, we can always add them later. So I like that. I like that. Y'all have got these things everywhere. Let's do our little truck real quick and then we'll think if we want to do those. Woo. Yeah, we still got some time. Hey Terry! Yeah, I love the little pumpkins too. They kind of stand out. They're cute. So here's a little truck. Actually, this came from Hobby Lobby and it was more of an orangey orange. And I took the um, Aperol Spritz and the Candy Papaya. Everything's got like a dessert name, y'all. <laughs> and I mixed those two together and I got this dark orange. And it looks really good um, because that truck's got a little bit of the dark orange in it as well. And so we're going to do this to go with it. So this is one of the molds here. And this was a little picture frame. Let's see if I've got it right here. This was a little picture frame that also came from Amazon. Little picture frames. Now you can do them just on the edge and you can cut the middle out for a little frame. But I liked the middle so I left it and I just painted it in a little bit of the chocolate souffle. And then I just dry brushed just a little bit of the honeycomb on the outside. Just put a little sunflower on it. This piece here, this piece was another piece that I had that I did one day off another mold. One of those same little small molds like the little flexa ones I showed you. It was one of these kind. And um, it was left and I thought, I'm going to put that on the front of the, front of the truck. I think it will be cute. And then I just took some of the, um, I put the, I think I just did the Aperol Spritz and just kind of dry brushed it a little bit. That's what I did to the truck. These are those little hay bales that come from the Dollar Tree. They're very cheap. They're nothing but styrofoam, but they're fun. So we've got a couple of things here we'll put in here. And that's a little pumpkin that's, um, this was a little um, pumpkin filler, the little filler that you get. And here's a little sunflower that's cute too. That would have been cute on there. I didn't even know I had that till I was looking in my stuff. Um, and then we'll do a bow on there. And we might add, we might even add something on the bow, one of those leaves. Might look good. So, this was a little dog that was my mom's. I, I don't know where she got this, y'all. It, it has something on here, but I can't see it until I get my reading glasses in. 
made in somewhere, but I think my husband told me it was a country. I've never seen this before, but when I cleaned out her house, I found this. And so my mother went to all these sales when she lived in, um, I'm in Alabama, and my mother went to Baltimore, Maryland for a detail for work. And she was up there for several years um, when I was a teenager. And um, so she went to these antique places and stuff, and I'm pretty sure that's probably where that came from, or it could have come from her neighbor downstairs that passed away and the, the daughter gave my mother a bunch of things. So I wanted to put my little dog on here. I just thought it was cute with the little dog. But I've also got these little pumpkins. So we've got this other piece of that we can put. So I may put one of the pumpkins there. And then I've got this other one that may go up there. And I've got this one. So this one might be a little big. We may want to use that one. So let's try that. Thank you for sprinkling, Deborah. Hey, Margaret, you loved it. You loved it as it was. Well, thank you. You like the picture just like it was. Isn't it a cute truck, Katie? Yeah, these came from, um, I got this last year from um, Hobby Lobby. You know, at the end of the season, they marked stuff down there. I was shocked that this was still there. It was either 80 or 90%. I said, oh, I'm grabbing that. And then I got some small ones, too. So I love the little bay hills. Bay, bay. <laughs> hey, bells tongue-tied hay bales but yes so after me is going to be uh carol with swanky vintage with carol that's who's up after me today she'll be on in a few minutes and y'all will love carol she always has something really good so let's get our truck finished and i went ahead and put this on but i kind of like that to have a little mold of wood on there just for something a little different let's see if we've got room for our dog if we put this one back I pulled it off because I wasn't sure. I think my little dog will fit right there. And I know, y'all, but listen, it, w it was, you know, doesn't matter if my mom, I don't know where it came from. I just wanted to use it because I like a little dog or cat in there. If I had a cat, a cat if well, I do have some cats, but if I had some little cats, my little cat would go in there because I love cats. It'd be fun to put some little animals on there. You could put all kinds of things on here. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. So I used that other glue because it was a little stronger. That uh, Ryobi's a little stronger. So let's just put a little glue on this and just put a couple little things in our truck. I do have some moss I can put on there. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put this, let's see if this white one will fit in here. Not quite. These are a little bit bigger, so I think I'll use these on something else because I got these a little bit big, but they would be cute on there. But here's one that I did. That's some mold of wood as well. And we call it MAW, M-A-W, MAW, because that's what's <laughs> what the words stand for. So if you hear us saying MAW, that's why. And I like this one here, too. I'm going to put that one up there. I'm going to turn it around a little bit. Let's see if we can get a little bit more glue right in here. And then we'll, we can always put some moss. But I'm about to run out of time. i got a couple of minutes. So let's put just a little bit more. And these are just the filler, y'all. But you could make these with the mold of wood. All you have to do is just shape a little, little thing. You could also put you some little indentions on it. You could do that. You could use one of the molds. Anything like that would be easy peasy to do. Easy to do. Let's put a little bit more moss in here. I'm going to put this one right here in front of the dog. And that's going to look cute together. And I'll put a little bit more moss on there. Right now I'm just going to do that quickly. So isn't that cute? I thought it would go well with the other. Alright, because my time's about up. i got a minute to show you this. And then y'all are going to see Carol because she is coming on now. But I kind of like the way it came out, and I do have some material for a bow, and I'm going to add a bow and some um, raffia, and I will post that to the group for Katie to share and to my page and to Craft Around the Clock. So Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. I hope that you enjoyed it today, and you'll stay tuned for the rest of the people that will be on till late tonight. So y'all stay with us. Thank you for having me, Katie, and thank you for being here.